Behind these doors is a therapy that it's claimed can turn back time. So let's give it a go. I'd love to, yes, please. A cutting edge machine at the frontier of medicine, which apparently can make my cells younger. You can't wait at the beginning. Scientific advances like this promise a future where we can not only slow, but maybe even reverse the aging process. You are taking the time backwards at the cellular level. In Israel, scientists are also engaged in exciting anti-aging research. They're using an approach which they claim can repair old cells. It's inspired by the science of one of the country's most popular sporting activities. Shalom. Can I have one of these? Whatever it may be. This is Ilat, a tourist resort on the Red Sea. Now, many people come here because of the diving. The water is brilliantly clear and there is lots to see. But I'm here to meet a scientist who is convinced that understanding what happens when you dive, the physics of diving, if you like, could lead to a new way to repair cells and maybe even reverse the aging process. We've agreed to meet in one of Ilat's famous diving spots, which means a boat trip. Professor Shai Efrati is chairman of the Israeli Society for Diving and Hyperbaric Medicine. He is also a leading anti-aging scientist. I began to think in a different way about diving, about the physiology of diving. And after 20 years of research, we have found a good protocol that can actually take the biology back in time. Hi there. Hi. Good to see you. Uh, good dive. Good to see you. Guys, amazing dry dive. The water are very good. And an unusual place to meet. Uh, beautiful yeah, there. It's beautiful. It's the extreme pressures involved in deep diving that is key to Shai's research. Water are heavier than air. So every 10 meters that we go in underwater, we have a pressure that is equivalent to the atmosphere that we have above us. That increased pressure has a dramatic impact on how the body absorbs gases, like oxygen. When we are diving, the pressure is increased within our lungs. So the power capacity to push gas from the lungs into the, into the blood, into the tissue, is increasing dramatically. And if we will do that with oxygen, we will push more oxygen into the tissue. And that has an amazing biological effect, generating new tissue and better performance at the cellular level. To show me how he has turned the science of diving into a treatment, we're returning to dry land and Shai's research center in Tel Aviv. This is our center. Wow. It's one of the largest providers of pressurized or hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the world. It's currently used to help people recover from things like long COVID or stroke. But Shai's latest research is looking at whether it can reverse cellular aging. This is not at all what I was expecting, I must admit. This is more like a bus, isn't it, or a tube bus, train? Yeah. Or an airplane, it's hard to take people to dive in a safe way. So here what you're doing is you're taking the things you've learned from diving, the changes in pressure, the changes in oxygen, and you're delivering it in a completely controlled way. Exactly. So let's give it a go. I'd love to, yes please. Uh, you've excited my interest now. <laughs> Each five seconds, you need to pump yeah. your ears, and if you have some problems, just tell me. Chai is doubling the pressure in the chamber to mimic the effects of diving to 10 meters. We don't have the fish effect, but we have the pressure effect. <laughs> 
kind of weird at the beginning, the main place I feel it is in my ears. Chai is giving me pure oxygen to breathe, and because my lungs and arteries are under pressure, far more of that oxygen is being forced into my bloodstream and tissues. So now you have 17-fold increase in the oxygen in your body. The oxygen is going all over. Dramatically increasing levels of oxygen in my blood is stage one of the process. Stage two is making them drop. So when you will take the mask off, your blood oxygenation will decline dramatically, and that will be interpreted by the body as hypoxia, as lack of oxygen, and this is what we need to trigger the repair mechanism. I am now breathing normal levels of oxygen, but because the levels are so much lower than before, my body reacts as if there was almost no oxygen at all. This is controlled stress on the body without the hazardous effect of hypoxia. So now we are going back to one atta, and that's it. Whew, right. That was quite weird, I must admit. I actually feel um, very energised. I feel a bit hyper, a bit light-headed, but uh, really interesting. It's the stress of this perceived low oxygen state, which Shai claims leads to repair in the cells, and in particular to something called telomeres. Telomeres are probably considered to be the holy grail of every intervention that's supposed to take the ageing backward in time. Most cells in the body continuously divide to replace those damaged by everyday life. But each time they do, a small section of DNA is lost. To avoid losing vital genetic information, strands of DNA have spare material at each end, called telomeres. A bit like the plastic at the end of your laces. Each time the cell divides, these telomeres shorten, until eventually the cells are unable to divide again. They are there to protect the DNA, mm -hmm. but every time a cell splits and divides, they get shorter. Exactly. So they've been hit again and again, and they are getting shorter and shorter, until they are reaching a point where the cell decides that it's too risky for him to, to replicate. Short telomeres can be an indicator of old cells, making us more prone to illnesses like Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease, or some cancers. Shai says his treatment repairs these telomeres, so they become longer again, which effectively makes cells younger. What you have just done mm. in the chamber with the fluctuation, we are actually inducing enzymes that elongate the telomere, ah. and by that you are taking the time backwards at the cellular level. Shai recently ran a clinical trial of his treatment involving 35 elderly volunteers. And the results were eye-opening. We see the telomere length before and after the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And we can see 38% wow. elongation of the telomere. Across all the cells that Shai measured, telomeres were extended by an average of 20%. This kind of repair is, according to Shai at least, like taking the cells back in time. We are very happy when something like this right. happens. Because, you know, for the first time we see that it's feasible to reverse the biology of aging in humans. It is an intriguing result, albeit based on immune cells, where the length of telomeres is known to fluctuate more than other types of cell. The long-term health effects of making our cells live longer is also unknown. Well, it's far too early to be able to say that this treatment really does reverse the aging process, but it certainly produced some fascinating and provocative results. And who knows, perhaps in years to come, we'll be popping down to the local hyperbaric chamber for a spot of cellular servicing.